Before we had planes, trains or automobiles, there was the steam engine. Looked a lot like this. But it's probably better known for being in something like this, but how does a steam engine work? Well, you're going to need water to make steam, heat to turn the water into steam, and an engine to convert that steam into work. We start out with an axle and a piston. The piston sits inside a box called a cylinder. The steam pushes against the piston and makes the axle go round. Once it hits the bottom, we need to reverse the process. The steam then blows against the other end of the piston, making it go the other way and turning the axle full circle. And then we start again. Inside a steam engine it probably looks a little bit more like this, where the valves actually move the steam back and forth on a regular basis. The other thing that we need is a boiler. The boiler has a fire at one end, it passes the hot gas along it and makes the water inside the boiler boil. Looks a lot like this. Once it's all been put together it looks a lot like this and we're back where we started with a steam train. Now if you want to see a traction tractor that's being restored, click on this link now. Thanks. Oh, no.